The next step in our little bookstore app here is to add some security and login features using the built-in identity. And I'm going to use my existing context file. So I will have to begin by first converting it to an identity DB context. And to do that, I will also need to install this package right here. Let me just go to install with package manager. Uh, if you don't get it like I did, you can just search for this here aspnetcore.identity.entityframeworkcore. And I'll just get the latest one for .NET 5, which is the one I'm using. And that's done. And I also need to add a using statement for that one. Okay, there we go. So now we can add a, um, or if you want to add a um, another user, default user for our um, identity, we can add it like this. So I'm just gonna call it default user. And the reason I'm doing this is because if I want to add something to my uh, user uh, later on, say uh, if I want to add like first name, last name, an address, uh, a country, whatever, um, you can just add these as properties in your default user file. Uh, so to create this one, I'm just gonna right click on models, add class. I'm gonna name it default user. And this one will inherit from identity user. Um, so we don't really, really need to add anything here right now. Uh, we can just leave this one as is. But we'll come back to this one later and add some uh, some more properties to it, uh, like first name, last name, address, and so forth. Uh, but for now, just save this one and close it. So now we have the identity DB context using the default user. Uh, and now I can go ahead and scaffold the identity. So if I just right click the project, add a new scaffolded item, and I choose identity, add. Then I get this, and I will just choose to override all files, choose my data context class, which is the bookstore context. We just edit it, click add. And if you get an error like this, you should just be able to rerun it and it should work. But there we go. And if we come here and see that now we have a new folder here called areas, and if you open this one up, can see we have the identity and pages and here in the account folder we have all the uh, the views for the identities and also in the manage we have the user specific ones uh, i believe it is and to be able to um <coughs> to log in or register we will need to add something to our layout uh, layout file so i'll just come in here and I will add, uh, let's see, just before the, the cart here, after the UL, we'll add a partial uh, name. Login partial. And this one is this file here that was created uh, during the scaffolding. And this just um, handles our uh, login and register buttons. So now we have to go into the startup file. And after this one, I'm just gonna add another service. Add default identity using the default user. And I will add entity framework stores using the bookstore context file. Okay, and if you scroll down here, I will also add uh, app.use, uh, oops, sorry, 
use authentication. Use authentication. And lastly, I have to update my database. Just going to do a build real quick. the database is updated. So if I go ahead and run this project now, you will see that I have two new links here, register and login. And this is what uh, the login partial renders for us, for us. And so if I click register now, uh, oops, sorry. I think I forgot to add, uh, let's see here. Yes, I also need to add racer pages. And down here in the routing, in the endpoints, I need to add map racer pages. Okay, so endpoints dot map racer pages and services dot add racer pages. Go ahead and run this again. And now, if I click register, we will get redirected to this register page here. And if I just go ahead and create a user, and then you can see I'm logged in. And I can go here, change my email, change my password, and yeah, I can also delete my account again if I want to. So and there we go, the account is gone. So that's pretty much it for this video. In the next one, I'll be going through how to add some custom properties to your um, uh, default user class. So maybe I'll see you in the next one.